So a while ago I did a screencast on how to make packages and I covered how to make a simple package but there's another aspect of packaging which is making multi-file packages so I'm going to cover uh, in this screencast which will be slightly longer than the last one about how to make multi-file packages so let's just start with making some sort of directory uh, multi-file multi-file package demo okay and in here we'll have um, mfdemo1.el and we can do some auto insertion uh, short description main elis for the mf demo and the keywords just list will be fine and uh, let's make a function here mf demo one main and it doesn't take any arguments and it's got an interactive function that just does something simple Okay, let's make that auto load. Uh, I like a line break between those two things. Let's make an MF demo two dot EL. Uh, again, Lisp is fine. And uh, another defun in here. Um, something simple. Message. Okay. Well, to make a multi file package, we basically combine these into a tar. Um, and the, we upload the tarball to the package archive, Marmalade or Melper or whatever. Well, there's a complication with Melper, but anyway, we upload the tarball, and then when you install the package, that means downloading the tarball and unpacking it into your Melper directory in your Emacs installation. Um, but there's other stuff that you need. You need to know what files and all of that. So Emacs. Um, the helper system defines a packaging format file called the package.el. Now, package.el is a bit of a pain. Um, so, um, it's a kind of lispy file that looks something like this um, mf package.el. Uh, it goes something like define package. And then the name would be MF demo, and the version string I think would be 0.0.1. Um, and um, then you've got an optional demo uh, doc string. And then you've got a requirements list, and this is the same kind of requirements list as you have for other things. So if we depend on Creole, for example, uh, 0.8.1, something like that. So um, that's the MF package.el. Now we could put that in, we could tar this whole thing up, and then we could um, submit it uh, to a package repository, and that would kind of be done. But this is a bit of a pain um, to keep around and it's hard to parse and all of those sorts of stuff. So instead of using this, I like to use the Elpakit system, which um, I have to confess I wrote, and the Elpakit system requires a, a package recipe. Um, so we need a recipes directory, and then we need a recipe. Now, the recipe 
is just um, it's just the same as the package file really it's It's just a simple list structure. But it does allow you to specify a bit more. And it doesn't care about the order. Uh, that should be enough. We can also add the requires to this. And now if we uh, want to build this as a tar package we can just say control u alt x helper kit make multi and specify a location um, okay and helper kit built us that file. Now we can go and have a look in here we can see that there's the package. Okay, we can package install from file mf demo. And now we should be able to say, and we can also say. Lisp mode, we can also see that we can require MF demo 2 and then MF demo 2 thing, and that works too. So you can see that both functions were installed from separate files by the same package. And that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing about this is that Melpa requires uh, a straight branch for you to build your or a, a straight set of files a github repo for, to build your um, thing from your package from so it doesn't actually need this build process it'll do this build process for you automatically you do have to still make a recipe file and you have to submit it to melpa rather than leaving it in your repo but basically that's it okay um, Another time I will cover more about packaging, maybe more about Elpakit, including how to use Elpakit to make local archives, how to use Elpakit to make tests um, and run tests easily in other processes and in Emacs daemons. Okay, thanks very much.